Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Visual Studio Code. So just search for Visual Studio Code and hopefully the first link which will appear here will be from code.visualstudio.com. So I'm going to click on this link. So you can see, uh, you will see this option which says download win for Windows. And once you click on this uh, button uh, alongside this download for Windows uh, button, you will see Windows 64 uh, bit option. And I want to install the installer. So just uh, press the button just in front of installer. It is going to download the installer, which is Visual Studio Code installer for you, which is a executable file. So now the Visual Studio Code EXE is downloaded on my system. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to minimize the browser, which is going to start the installer. Uh, I will first of all say yes. And then this is going to start the Visual Studio Code installer. I will just say next and agree the terms and condition and then click next. And this will be the default location. I don't want to change it. So click next and then click next. And then once again, click, click next. If you want to create the desktop icon, you can check on this option. And I'm going to click next and then click install, which is going to start installing the Visual Studio Code. It's really a straightforward process, so you don't have to worry about it. So now Visual Studio Code is installed on my Windows operating system. So I will just leave this checkbox checked, which is going to launch the Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to cl click Finish, which is going to start Visual Studio Code on my Windows 10 operating system. And now you can see Visual Studio Code has been started on my Windows uh, 10 operating system. And if you are not familiar with uh, Visual Studio Code, here is uh, where you will uh, edit your file. So when you click on uh, this option, you will be able to open uh, any folder of your choice or you can create a new folder. This is the search option. So if you want to search inside a folder, some files or some uh, words, you can search using this search option. This is for Git integration. The third option is for Git integration or source code uh, integration, for example, uh, version controlling and uh, other things, right? Fourth option is for debugging, which we are going to use so for Python. Then the last option is for installing the extensions, right? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please wait, comment, subscribe and bye for now.